Singapore is a cosmopolitan city-state that became independent from the British in 1965 and is now one of the world's leading economic centers in shipping and banking. Backpacking Singapore or just visiting on a budget isn't as big with travelers as it is with say Thailand, Vietnam or really any other place in Southeast Asia. Singapore is expensive by Southeast Asian standards with everything costing almost double what it does elsewhere in the region. While most people come here for a couple of days just to do Singapore and check it off with a bucket list. Over the past few years, the city has shed some of its stuffy nature and become a much more fun and cosmopolitan city. When we talk about the government system, According to the constitution of the country, the Republic of Singapore is represented to democracy with a parliamentary system. In practice, its politics have been completely dominated by a single party, the People's Action Party, since 1959. The Prime Minister is the leader of the majority party in parliament and also heads the executive branch of government. When we talk about languages, although English is the most commonly used language in Singapore, the nation has four official languages, Chinese, Malay, English, and Tamil. The most common mother tongue is Chinese with about 50% of the population. Approximately 32% speak English as their first language, 12% Malay, and 30% Tamil. Similarly, when we talk about religion in Singapore, almost 15% of Singaporeans are Muslim. 8.5% are Taoist, about 5% Catholic, and 4% Hindu. Other Christian denominations total almost 10%, while approximately 15% of Singapore's people have no religious preferences. Now let's take a look at the 10 most beautiful places in Singapore for the tourists. Number 1. Marina Bay Sands The opulent Marina Bay Sands resort complex includes a high-end luxury hotel, a mall with canal running through it, the Art Science Museum, and the Marina Bay Sands Sky Park Observation Deck, a vintage point for taking in the entire city. The Sky Park's viewing deck and infinity pool are found in the ship that tops the hotel. Only hotel guests are allowed to use the infinity pool, but anyone can visit the observation park. From the sky park, you can see the innovative double helix bridge, the port, the gardens by the bay, and much more. Number 2 in the list is gardens by the bay. Once you have glimpsed this beautifully designed green space, you won't be able to stay away. Wanders through the Bay East Garden, perfect for enjoying the vibrant plot life and escaping the city bustle for a moment. You won't want to miss Separity Groove, where you'll find a cluster of the iconic, futuristic structures designed to perform environmentally sustainable functions. Then, head to the Cloud Forest Dome to see the world's tallest indoor waterfall and learn a bit about biodiversity. Check the website for ticket sale prices and two times. Number 3 in the list is Botanic Gardens. Not to be confused with the gardens on the bay, the Botanic Gardens are also worth a visit. Singapore received its first UNESCO World Heritage nomination for its botanical gardens and with good reason. The city can sometimes be like a concrete jungle, albeit a clean and comfortable one. But the Botanic Gardens preserve pieces of Singapore's wider heritage. Here, a walking trail leads to the garden's heritage trees, which are conserved as part of an effort to protect the city's mature tree species. Make sure to visit the impressive National Orchard Garden as well. Number 4 in the list is Singapore Zoo. 
billing itself as the world's best rainforest zoo, the Singapore Zoo is a pretty impressive place. The facility is clean and inviting, and the animals appear well treated, with plenty of lush vegetation and habitat space. The ornaments are particularly impressive, and visitors can watch as babies and adults alike swing high above their platforms and snacks and fruits. There is also a large chimpanzee family, zebras, and much more animals. Number 5 in the list is Orchard Road. One could be forgiven for coming to Singapore and doing nothing but shopping, as this is a world class city for style and designer chic. The Orchard Road area is a great place to start a shopping spree, as there are high end stores at every fun. You expect nothing less from a neighborhood that boosts 22 malls and 6 departmental stores. There are four movie theaters including an IMAX cinema and a KTV karaoke establishment. Number 6 in the list is Singapore Flare. If the observation deck in the Marina Bay Sands doesn't quite do it for you, try digging in high tea while looking out over the city from the Singapore Flyer, the world's largest giant observation view. Choose from several different packages that allow you to be served and pampered while enjoying a view that encompasses not only the Singapore skyline but as far away as the Spice Islands of Indonesia and Malaysia Straits of Johor. There are several different ticket packages to choose from, and each includes access to the multimedia journey of Dreams Exhibit, which dwells into Singapore's history and the creation of the Singapore Flyer. Number 7 in the list is Raffles Hotel Singapore. This colonial building is one of the world's last grand 19th century hotels once visited by literally luminaries such as Kipling and Joseph Conard, as well as movie star Charlie Chaplin. 1887, the property has served as a city landmark for well over a century and continues to live up to its tiny regulation with excellent food and service. The classical architecture and tropical garden provide a refined settling and represent another facet of Singapore's varied and rich history. Number 8 in the list is Chinatown. If you've ever visited China, Singapore's Chinatown neighborhood will bring you right back here. From the small moment pop stores and authentic Chinese food to the bright red lanterns, there's excitement and hustle in this district. You can visit the Chinese Heritage Center and see the impressive and beautiful Sri Marinium Hindu Temple. Another temple we're seeing is Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. If you're up early enough, you can hear the morning drum ceremony, or you can just check out the closing ceremony in the evening after being the relic. Number 9 in the list is Sentosa Island. Singapore isn't exactly known as a beach destination, but here, if you're really craving some fun in the sun, Sentosa Island is a place to find it. Siloso Beach is a good spot for getting in bench time and visitors can play volleyball on free courts or go to kicking or skimboarding. There are several other beach attractions as well, plus an underwater world aquarium where you can skim with dolphins. Last and number 10 in the row is Clark Way. The center of commerce during the 19th century, Clark Way lives after its legacy is a busy hub. Today it has more polished sheen, so after a long day of shopping on Orchard Road, visitors can happily head to Clark Way for an evening of waterfront dining and entertainment. We were Texas, 
and cruises also depart from here, giving tourists the chance to admire some of the city's historic bridges and view landmarks like the Maryland from the water. So this was the list of top 10 places to visit in Singapore. If you missed anything, you can tell us in the comment section. That's all from this video.